Hi. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. The first, the first of my two repottings for my Rasolelio Catlea, Durigan Crucero do Sul, the other one being my Rapiculus Lelias, which will come eventually. They are soaking. They are trying to get used to their new environment. The very weak ones need a lot of help. So I've changed the angle a little bit because it's a bit later in the day. I've got some repottings done today and I hope that I am able to work with this angle. You see, there's not really that much to do. <laughs> there's a lot to take off, but you've got new roots coming. Very important timing wise for a bifoliant. These are notorious divas. Get it wrong, timing wrong, and the orchid will stall, sulk, or deteriorate. Pick and choose either way, it's not going to do well. But we've got it, we've got it right. We have some new roots growing, and I'm gonna take advantage of that straight away and get her into my preferred setup. And I appreciate that you clicked the video and are joining me for this process. So I've been spraying her down because I do want to try to get rid of the sheaths at this point in time. I've already sprayed her with insecticide and everything, so she should be all right. But uh, yeah, let's get the roots taken care of, the debris, and watch out for that new growth. This shouldn't be too difficult, with the exception of the angle that I am not used to one bit. So I'm just going to keep checking the screen, make sure where I need to be pointing at in order to stay in focus. Right. I've been waiting two days now since I got her. Two or three days, maybe. Three days, actually, I think. I don't know. But I have been waiting because I wanted her to at least soak up enough of what she can with her little stumps and get acclimatized to my environment. She's been outside since she arrived. I don't think this one, because of the new root growth, this one didn't need the babying as my Rapiculus do. Got some very weak Rapiculus lalias and all I've been doing is soaking those in little Tupperwares, but that's not what this video is about, so... <laughs> this is a wishless orchid. And even though that root is firm, it's dead. This has been on my wish list for quite some time. I've never pulled the trigger to buy from Floralia or do anything like Brazil-wise, because I've seen such dodgy reviews, uh, outcomes, even with the opportunity of buying at the show, the orchids just seem to be so stressed or something happens in transport that they get so weak. I don't know. So I've never dared to do this. But seeing as in February, I thought, you know what? I'm not going to be buying many orchids. And the sales list came through on my email. I thought, Rapiculus, yes. I won't be getting those Rapiculus anytime soon here in Europe. So I thought to myself, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get myself Rapiculus. And then, of course, you go down the list, and that is a big mistake, because all of a sudden there were all the Durigans. And I'm, oh, okay, one. So I was very pleased, I must say, with the quality of these plants. You can't really fault, you know, Rapiculus ladies are touch and go when you're shipping them. So I'm not going to waste your time watching me take all the sheaths off. But just to give an idea, I do want these off. It's nice and breezy today. And if it wasn't so late in the day, you would be seeing a different angle. But I have to continue with my schedule because late is late as it gets later and later in the season. And I need to make sure that she is established relatively quickly being a bifoliate. 
So yeah, I wish they would have had Durigan Capricorn or Durigan Leo or Virgo, but they didn't. As I would have probably been tempted to get all of those as well. I love my freckled orchids. I think there's a certain charm and exoticness about them. So very happy to have her. She's going to be a big, big one. If I get it right, she'll be quite large. But that's what this is all about. Sometimes you just have to say, nah, I'm going to get it. And I'm happy I did. Unfortunately, it took forever. Quite honestly, I had actually just parked the idea of they don't exist. I'm not going to get anxious about the order. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I'm sure I'm going to get my money back. Communication was a bit odd, I must say, with Floralia. It's almost like when I asked in May what their plans were, how is it looking over there, what is, you know, because you hadn't heard anything. I even put a disclaimer in saying I am fully aware of the global situation. Who wasn't, right? And I wasn't pushing to get my order. I was just politely inquiring what, you know, what are their plans? How are they thinking about going about this? And I got a very abrupt reply. I was like, oh, okay. I wasn't pushing. I said that I'm not pushing. I just want to know. Have you got any idea? Is there anything, you know? Because it's all, for me, I don't know about anybody else, but for me, when I receive orchids, I want to be ready. I want to know, have I got what I need? Because by that time, you know, by the time they arrive, well, I just like to be prepared. So, yeah, the reply was a bit abrupt. We will email you when we've shipped them. Mm, okay. And then I waited and, uh, well, nobody emailed me from them at all. All through the summer. Actually, they said to me they'll ship July, August. And I was like, okay, I don't like getting orchids in July and August. I was like, oh my God, no, please don't. So I heard nothing. I didn't push. I didn't want to come across as one of those, you know. So I just left it. And then boom, out of nowhere. Your orchids have been shipped from Luque. They're on their way. And I'm like, yeah, yay, awesome. So I said, thank you very much. Appreciate the heads up. And I got myself ready. Meanwhile, I already did some prep work for the Rapiculus Lelius early in the season. Wishful thinking. And I got all the pots ready and switched out orchids from the pots that I wanted my Rapiculus Lelius in just based on the assumption of, of the size of the Oropiculus Lelias, you know? You don't know about the size as they come, but a little bit of assumption and yeah. So we're ready, except they're not quite ready to put up with it yet. They soak day in, day out and dry by the evening. And here we are, my duty gun. She's a gorgeous orchid. Having said all that, she is a gorgeous orchid. I'm very, very happy I took the plunge. So that's all I'm going to do. No more, no less. And uh, while yapping away, I did actually remove all the sheets. <laughs> so she's all ready to go. Now, I have some options here. I have two different size pots. All right. And I think I can keep her in the pot on the right for at least a year. And I had prepared the bigger pot, but I'm wondering, I'm just going to leave her in the little pot and I can bump her up if need be. That's what I'm going to do. You see, I was actually, see where my support is? Yeah, that's where I thought I was going to put her. So just as well because I was already going to put the microfiber in and everything just to preempt the whole process. But here we are. This looks fine. If I need to bump her up next year, 
then I'm going to bump her up next year. No biggie. That's one. And because she is a thirsty, thirsty girl, I'm putting in two. There we go. Now, touching all that, let's give it a wipe. And in you go. Get that out of the way. And let's see. I'm going to need to support her for sure. Breeze is picking up, which is good because she has just been sprayed down harshly. So what I'm going to do is put my support on at least the supporting wire before I put the orchid on because all this wobbling and jiggling against those new roots, I want to avoid that. Let me see if I can do this without looping it again. Once is enough. All righty. Lekka a go go. I have the loop up again, and there's Lekka underneath, like so. A little layer of Lekka underneath. Now, this is for me just a precaution thing. Oh, I missed one. It's just a precaution thing to do a, put her in a smaller pot. It's not taking the easy way out. I could leave her in the bigger pot. But I think that for the winter and getting to know her better, it's best to keep her in a smaller pot so that she might be able to dry out if need be. Yeah, you know, just got to get to know her a bit better. And maybe one day, I will know that the bigger pot is going to be her forever home. Okay, how do I want you? The new growth obviously pointing somewhat to the front. Check what the support is doing in the back and check where the root is gonna touch on the bottom. I don't wanna go in too low as such. And then because I don't have a third hand yet, maybe one day, I have prepared myself two little bowls of Lekka and hope that for the time being, until I can get some more out of my bucket, she will stay where she is. No, she won't. Okay. New orchids, love it. Especially when they come exactly how you need them to be in order to repot them straight away. That is the best part. That's also just, you know, a healthy orchid is fabulous. And then the bonus of getting one that is ready to go based on what the orchid is doing and how you would like to get her situated. Ah. Uh, it just works out so, so well. I love it when the combination is like that. Now, hold her a little bit here and give it a shake. Push down while I shake because I don't want to come, come rising up out of the top. A little bit in the back. And that's all. Maybe that was too much. It's possible that I just did too much, but I think we're good to go. Welcome home, Durigan Crucero do Sul. Ooh, the breeze has died down a bit. That's a, now the sun is piping hot, but there we are. Where do I support her? Which ones do I grab? There's one. There's another. And 
There we go. That's all there is. Now she is going to live on this shelf, but underneath where there's plenty of shade, she's down on the underside of this bottom shelf where she has a lot of breeze and she also has late afternoon sun already on her, which is great. Now, let me have one more look-see. Yep, yeah, the label. There we go. And then this doesn't need to be so big. There we go. So I hope that this gorgeous orchid will feel at home now and not throw a fit. She doesn't have many roots to dump, but you know, by foliage, you never know. These are a breed of their own. No need for hydrogen peroxide on this repotting. There is nothing wrong with the orchid since she's been soaking in my Greek yogurt tub. There's absolutely nothing wrong with her. Clean as a whistle, which was another fine attribute. Absolutely amazing. So despite the fact that I got some orchids, some rapiculous lalias that were a little bit, oh my goodness. You should never have sent them, not because I'm disappointed, but because the plant might die, you know? But this one, yeah, I'm happy with her. Good stuff. So there we are. Let's see how quickly she grabs hold and how well this growth develops. Thank you everybody so very, very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, I do hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see you all next time. I hope just stay safe. Take care. Bye.